I am a child of the ocean, born in the kingdom of Tonga. Coral reefs have been my playground, schools of fish my playmates. The ocean has been my anchor, my home. In my early years, an eerie sound from the dark death hunted me, interrupting my play and feeding my deepest fear. Just like Jonah in the Bible, I thought I would be swallowed by a giant mouth. They were there. To reclaim their kingdom, and perhaps seek revenge. The Chines of Tonga. Do you hear that song, Tofua'a? My baby, my love, welcome home to our kingdom, the kingdom of Tonga. This song will accompany you throughout your life it's your connection to our community, to our ancestors, and future generations. We, the humpback whales of Tonga. As long as you hear this song, you'll know that you're not alone, that you're on the right path, a path taken for generations. A path of life on a long journey way down to the feeding grounds of Antarctica. You are a child of the ocean, my love. The kingdom of Tonga has been our birthing ground for generations. Breathe, Tofua. Grow, my baby, grow. Here, you're safe in warm, sheltered waters. You have six months before we begin our journey through cold polar seas to Antarctica, a route of danger. Killer whales will watch for you. Whaling boats will hunt us. But the journey is worth it. In Antarctica, there are so many krill as many as the stars in the sky above us. There, I'll teach you to feast. You'll become strong and powerful, ready to return home here in Tonga. The kingdom of Tonga is made of land and sea, shared between us and the Chento Chines. Two families, above and below, seemingly separated and yet so connected, ocean tribes on the path to reconciliation. I used to be terrified of the chines of our kingdom, hunted by the epic and tragic story my father told. But he also taught me that the ocean was not to be feared. He pushed me from the boat one day, straight towards their gigantic mouth and eyes. That day, everything changed. In the immense blue, Fear was defeated by courage, and I fell in love deeply. Since that day, each year in June, I scanned the ocean for days, longing for their return. And then, the horizon suddenly shifts. The ocean surface glitters. I know then, they have returned home. The Hamburg whales of Tonga are our legacy. They are our past and our future.
My father has spent his whole life with the ocean. It's replaced the school he didn't have access to. No one better understands the waves, the stars, or the animals. The ocean has shaped him. He was one of the most respected ocean hunters. Just like his grandfather and his father, each year in June, he awaits their return. My little Tofuaha, play and enjoy your first month here, but there are dangers above and below. There was a time when our community was much larger. Not a day in the ocean would pass without meeting another whale. It was fun and exhilarating. There was very little we needed to fear. Until one day, right here in the waters of Tonga, a dark era dawned. The first harpoons sailed from the sky. They massacred young calves and mothers like us, piercing our flesh. We lost blood. We lost strength. We lost numbers. Our sheltered kingdom in Tonga had turned into a killing field for the humpback whales. My father was one of the last whalers of Tonga. He holds the memory of another time when there was no peace in the blue below. And as he looks towards the horizon of the ocean, I can see in his glittering eyes the whale surfacing from the past. Their song resonating. Powerful chimes desperate to hold on to life. Their blood seeping into the blue waves the loud silence, and then... the fish bringing together the community. His memory is of a glorious time of hunting and celebration. My father's knowledge of the sea is a precious legacy now for us to share. We are privileged to host the whale as their nurture their calves. Although my father is nostalgic for the taste of their flesh, he has welcomed the idea of a new possibility. People come from all over the planet to witness the first precious moments of life for our chines. Thanks to the whales, our kingdom of Tonga now has a place on the whales map. Today, the whales have a new place in our culture, in our daily life, and in the future of our children. Our whales are worth more alive than dead. They are our guardians, and we must also be theirs. Little Finau, as you grow older, treat our whales with respect, share our history. Safeguard the kingdom below so handbag whales can peacefully raise their young. Mm. 
I am your proud mother, little Finau. I am honored to tell you stories about the Chines who safeguard our land as long as we safeguard their waters, as if our lives depended upon it. Tofuaha, my love, no one knows what the future holds for us in the waters of Tonga. We are the gardeners of the ocean, deeply connected to the planet. For we fertilize the sea. Our presence sustains even the smallest creatures. We are the humpback whales, powerful giants, guardians of the planet. With our strength and knowledge comes responsibility to care, to be gentle, and to protect those we love. This is how you'll be able to survive. This is how our blue planet will thrive. Even when I'm not in the water, I know they are there. Look at the ocean, my love. Can you feel them? The whales live in harmony with our kingdom. They are the wisdom of our oceans, the wise elders of our planet. Learn to love them and listen to them so that they can pass on to you their message. We humans have the power to destroy and the power to care. Most of all, we have the power to choose.